creating custom messages in drafts. That's the topic of this week's episode of Working with Drafts. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how you can create your very own custom messages. And this is another one of those super time-saving ways that Drafts can help you because you can pre-compose your message and then you can send it. Now I use this all the time for when I'm confirming student uh, classes for the next day. I also use it for many many other things and particularly one that I have which is if I'm running late. That's another one that I use quite regularly because it saves me so much time and obviously when you're running late you do tend to feel a little bit stressed and you, ha, ha, ha. so it's much better if you've got a pre-composed message that you can warn people that you're going to be a few minutes late. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to ask if you do get any value from this video, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe because that is a wonderful way of getting all the tips and tricks straight to your inbox when you want to see them. OK, let's move into drafts and I'll show you how to create your very own custom messages. OK, so here we have my drafts on my phone. So this is my regular account. I'm going to show you one that I have set up already because I find this one incredibly useful and it does save a lot of time. I have here my student confirmation message. Now, remember, I'm teaching uh, in Korea. So I am when I'm confirming with a student, they are going to be a Korean student. If I tap my message, you can see that it comes up high. Don't forget you have a class tomorrow at and I can add the time. If you can't do the class, please let me know as soon as possible. See you tomorrow. And I also have it in Korean. So all I need to do when I tap that now is to type in a student's name. So if I type in Mina, I get uh, names of the people that I want coming up. So I can just add that in. Click send and off it goes. Now to create one for yourself, all you need to do is hit the plus key, add new action. And I'm going to call this um, on way home, for example. And I'm going to go into my steps and there's no steps defined. So I hit the plus in the top right hand corner and it says send iMessage with messages app. So I'm going to hit that. And that's going to come up. So now I can actually add from my contacts all the people that I would want to do that. So I can look for people in this list and just, you know, add the people into that one. So I'm not going to do that right now. So if I don't put anything in, it's just going to open up message and ask me to do it. Subject I don't need because obviously this is a message, but you can put a message. Um, but the one that I really want is the draft. So I'm going to type in here. Uh, now you can leave that as draft if you want, and that means that you will have the option to type your own message. Uh, I am on my way home. Uh, see you in 30 minutes. OK, and that's done. So I'm going to save and exit. So now down at the bottom, I have on my way home. So if I tap that now, it's going to open up the message. Now, because I didn't give a person there, uh, I have to type the person in. So I can type in uh, my wife's name and hit that. And then it would send off. I'm on my way home. See you in 30 minutes. So that's one way that I can use the messages. So it's really, really simple. Now you can go in there and you can edit. Uh, of course, and you can actually, you know, add the recipient numbers. You can add a subject if you wish, and you can add all sorts of things. Alternatively, you can just leave the body blank, i.e., draft. So, for example, let's go back. Um, in fact, actually, let's just create a new one because it'd be easier. So you can see doing it again. So we're going to create the plus key at the bottom. Add new action. I'm going to say name. So um, message to wife. Um, so that's there. 
I can hit the steps up here. So I'm going to set message. So I'm just going to add, uh, type in there for my wife. So we got that one. So that's going to go in and we'll tap that. So that's now that the message, the number in there and I can leave that save and exit. So now I can tap that and it will just automatically bring it up. But actually there's no, what I can do now is, sorry, typing. I am on my way home, boom, and then tap up here, message to wife, and it brings it up into the message and boom, send. So you can create all sorts of ones that you actually want to create. It's entirely up to you which way to do it. You can create blank ones, you can create pre message ones like I have for my student confirmation up here. You know, I have them all set up. I can just bang and send the person's name and off it goes. So you can do all sorts of things in here that you can just save you so much time. Essentially, that's what drafts is all about. It's all about saving you time. And if you have, like I do, have it set up in the bottom right hand corner, you know, it's the go to place that I have for doing all sorts of text based work. OK, hopefully that's given you some ideas of how you can get more uses out of drafts. It's such a brilliant tool and it is worth spending a little bit of time setting up your own actions because they really do help to get you much more productive and essentially much faster. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery Version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.